Hello, welcome to Table's World Recipes. Today, we have a very special video. We're gonna make you a classic from Florida. The Cuban sandwich, or famously known as El Cubano. There's two main versions from this sandwich, the Miami version, the Tampa version. The difference between both of them is that Tampa uses Genoa salami. Today I'm going to bring you my version that is more the Miami style and we're going to be doing the dill pickles, we're going to be doing the Cuban bread, we're going to be roasting the pork and then preparing the sandwich all together. So let's get cooking. The ingredients we're going to need are two pounds of pickling cucumbers or salad cucumbers, one bunch of dill, three to four garlic cloves, two teaspoons of mustard seeds, two teaspoons of whole black peppercorns, one tablespoon of kosher salt, two teaspoons of sugar, one cup of white vinegar, and one and a half cups of water. To start our pickles, we're going to cut the ends and we're going to start slicing them. I'm going to use a mandolin to get really thin slices. If you don't have one, you can use a knife. Just make sure that your slices are thin and lengthwise. Next, we're going to prepare our pickling liquid. In a pot, we're going to add our vinegar. our water, our salt, and our sugar. We're going to turn on the heat and we're going to make sure that the salt and the sugar dissolve. We're going to let this liquid simmer. While our liquid is getting ready, we're going to peel our garlics. and we're gonna start slicing them. We're gonna give some garlicky flavor to our pickles. Then in a jar, we're gonna add our mustard seeds, our peppercorns, some garlic. The amount is probably about one or two cloves, depending on your taste and we're gonna add our dill. Then our main ingredient. We're gonna start grabbing our cucumber slices and we're gonna pack our jar. It needs to be packed tightly Once our pickling liquid starts boiling, we're going to turn off the heat and then while it's still hot, we're going to fill our jars. In my case, I'm going to do about five jars of pickles because I love them. Once our jars are full, we're going to close the lid real tight, let them to the side until it cools down and then we're going to put them in the fridge at least overnight but they will be better after a few days. For our pork, we're gonna need four pounds of pork shoulder, three quarter cups of olive oil, one cup of cilantro, one tablespoon of orange zest, three quarters of a tablespoon of lime zest, one cup of orange juice, three quarters cup of lime juice, quarter cup of fresh mint, eight garlic cloves, half a tablespoon of dried oregano, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of pepper.
We're going to start by scoring our pork in a checkered pattern. We're only going to score the skin. We don't want to go too deep into the meat. To prepare our marinade, we're going to start by zesting our oranges. It's a lot easier to zest them before we juice them. And then we're going to repeat the same process with the limes. We're looking for a tablespoon of orange zest and three quarters of the lime zest. After zesting, we're going to juice our oranges. We're looking for one cup of orange juice and three quarters of a cup of lime juice. We're going to mix both of them together and we're going to set them to the side. In a blender, we're going to add our cilantro, our mint, our oregano, our cumin, our salt, our pepper, our garlic cloves, our olive oil, Then we're going to add the zest of the orange and the lime. And to finalize, we're going to add the mixture of citrus juices. We're going to start our blender for a few seconds until everything mixes. Now we have our mojo sauce. We're going to pour our mojo sauce over the pork. and we're going to massage our pork. We want to make sure that that mojo gets into all the nooks and crannies. We're going to cover it with plastic film and then we're going to set it in the fridge overnight. The ingredients for our Cuban bread are one and a quarter cups of lukewarm water, one tablespoon of dry active yeast, three and a half cups of bread flour, three teaspoons of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, three tablespoons of lard. First, we're going to start activating our yeast. We're going to add our yeast to our lukewarm water and we're going to mix it. We're going to let it rest for 10 minutes. In our mixing bowl, we're going to add our flour, our salt and our sugar. And we're going to start whisking them together. We're going to put our bowl in their mixer and we're going to start at slow speed and we're going to add our yeast already activated. We're going to mix for a few minutes until our dough incorporates. Once our dough incorporates, we're going to stop our mixer and we're going to remove it from the hook. Then we're going to add our lard. This is the secret of a good Cuban bread. We'll start our mixer again and let it go for three to five minutes. Once the lard and the dough incorporate, we're going to remove our dough from the hook.
And now we're going to prepare a mixing bowl with some olive oil. We're going to cover all the surfaces with olive oil. Then we're going to make a little ball with our dough. We're just going to extend it lightly. We're going to put it inside our bowl. We're going to cover it and we're going to let it rest at least for an hour. After the hour passes, our dough has doubled. We're going to remove all the air by punching it. We're going to put some flour in our surface. And we're going to start working our dough. Once we work our dough, we're going to cut it into two pieces. We're going to extend them a little bit. And using a damp towel, we're going to cover them and let them rest for at least 10 minutes. After 10 minutes have passed, we're going to start making our Cuban bread. We're going to stretch our dough. And then we're going to start rolling it in. Our Cuban bread should be around 14 inches long. We're going to stretch it and we're going to leave the sides a little bit tapered. We're going to do this with both pieces of dough. Then we're going to put them in a pan and we're going to cover them and let them rest for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to uncover our bread and we're going to spray it with some water. Then we're going to make a score lengthwise in the middle of both loaves. Now we're going to put our bread in a 400 degree oven and then we're going to throw a cup of ice that's going to help us create some steam. We're going to bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to pull our bread out. We're going to put it in a rack for cooling down. After spending all night in the fridge marinating in that mojo sauce, we're going to transfer our pork to a roasting pan and we're going to put it in a 425 degree oven for 30 minutes. As our pork is roasting, we're not going to waste the mojo. We're going to transfer it to a pan and we're going to cook it down. This is going to be our basting sauce every 30 minutes. After the first 30 minutes, we're going to reduce the temperature to 375. And we're going to start basting our pork. We're going to be basting it every 30 minutes. Our pork needs to cook 30 minutes per pound. In our case, it's a four pound pork, it's gonna take two hours.
Our dill pickles are in the fridge, our bread is ready, and our pork is in the oven. So while we wait for our pork to finish roasting, it's a perfect time for you to click on subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know when new videos are coming, click on the bell. And at the end, if you enjoy this video, give us a like. Now, let's get back to the kitchen. After two hours, we're going to pull our pork from the oven. We're going to check for an internal temperature. We want it to be at least 160. This is ready. It's smelling so good. We're going to cover it with aluminum foil and we're going to let it rest for at least 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, we're going to start slicing our pork. My mouth is watering right now. To finish our Cubano sandwich, we're going to need a pound of ham, 16 ounces of Swiss cheese slices, yellow mustard, and some butter. In a pan, we're going to melt some butter and then we're going to start cooking our ham slices. We're going to cook them for both sides until they start getting golden brown. Once they're golden brown, we're going to remove them and set them aside. We're going to cut the edges of our bread and in this case I'm going to get two sandwiches from a loaf. We're going to cut our bread in half. Now we're going to start preparing our sandwich. First we're going to spread some mustard at both sides of the bread. At the bottom we're going to add some of this delicious pork. Then we're going to add our ham. A couple of slices of Swiss cheese. And now we're going to add our pickles. We're going to put two or three slices, depending on your preference. Now we're going to cover our sandwich. And to make it traditional, I'm going to use a panini press. I'm going to test for heat. It's hot. We're going to add some butter at the bottom. Then we're going to add our sandwich. And we're going to spread some of the butter in the top bun. We're going to press it as this sandwich is supposed to be flat. You're going to know it's ready when the cheese has melted. To make it more traditional, the original cut is edge to edge in diagonal. And after doing the pickles and the bread and our pork, our Cubano sandwiches are ready. Let's try them. Mmm. Wow. The pork is so moist. Those dill pickles are just crunchy and spot on. This is just such a classic. This is the Miami style, but it's one of my favorite sandwiches in the world. Hope you give this recipe a try and we'll see you next time.